the Phil Travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Bari, Italy, and today we're going to talk about are some of the don'ts of using the trains when you come here to Italy, because my first don't for you is don't think you can visit Italy without using the trains, because honestly, you don't really want to drive throughout the country all the time because the mopeds and the Vespas and the driving can be a bit frustrating. So the train is going to be your best option to get around the country, to get some of those great day trips from different cities. You're going to be using the train. So don't think you're going to be able to avoid the train when you're here. And another thing you're not going to be able to avoid is don't expect your train to be on time when you're here in Italy. Now, the thing is, if you're on a Freccia train, which is the, the super fast trains, they're usually on time or relatively on time because they kind of have to give their money back and give refunds if there's any issues sometimes, you know? So they're pretty much on time. However, the regionale, the, the, the regional trains, the local trains, the, the not super fast trains, yeah, just, just know that you're probably gonna have a few delays when you're here. You'll see it on the board, it says ritardo, a ritardo, then I'll have the minutes, maybe it's five minutes or 10 minutes, or as what happened to us in Bolzano, 125 minutes, okay? So I do want you to know that. And I think that's why it's important to mention is, don't forget there's actually different types of trains when you come here to Italy, okay? So you have the freccias, those are the super fast trains. You have the regional trains like I was talking about, or regionale, and then there's regionale velocita, so a little bit faster regional trains that don't stop at every single town. Because if you're in a regionale, that literally stops at every single town along the way and it will take longer to get places because honestly my next don't for you is don't think that the earlier train necessarily gets in earlier that's why it's important to see which train you actually have because sometimes it's just easier like wait a minute that train leaves an hour earlier but gets in an hour later yeah because it's the regional and not the freccia oh okay i gotcha now i will tell you this don't think that they're all the same price, okay? You can't just buy a ticket to Milan and get on whatever train you want. You have to make sure you get the right train ticket for the right train because the prices will vary widely when it's the kind of train you're going to take. That's why it's important when you're buying your tickets to make sure you indicate which train you do want to take, okay? And, and one thing I got to tell you is, you know, don't be surprised if you have a long line at the ticket window and that's why you'll go to the kiosks that are there. And that's what's really cool. Train Italia and some of the private train lines here, like Italo, they'll have their own little kiosk. You can go there and buy your tickets there. It'll switch to English and it's super fast. So don't be surprised if you're using those kiosks a lot more than you go up and actually talk to people. But I will warn you that this. Don't accept help at those kiosks from anybody except Train Italia or Italo, the private carriers, their personnel. Because if you're in Roma, Termini, or if you're in Florence at the station there, or Venice, sometimes people are there to help you, but to more help themselves to see what you have or, or look for a tip. So don't worry. If you got your way all the way to Italy, you can figure out how to use those kiosks to uh, buy your tickets without the extra help. And one thing I got to tell you is you don't have to buy the tickets at the station. You can buy your tickets online and don't forget to buy your tickets early because if you pre-buy your tickets at trainitalia.com, you can save major bucks, okay? We've been traveling for a month around Italy, Jocelyn, Liam, and myself. We've saved over 500 euros buying our tickets a week in advance because we got all these great deals. So don't wait to buy your tickets because also when it's busy tourist season, those Freccia fast trains have limited number of seats and they sell out, okay? So don't wait to buy. Save the money and guarantee your spot. And if you're a Eurorail person that's gonna come through on Eurorail or Interrail, don't forget you still have to buy a reservation for that seat on those, you know, fast trains, on the Freccia trains, okay? So so just be a heads up on that one. And, and I think another thing I forgot to mention with the different types of trains, don't expect a train that's an EC to be on time because Euro City trains are usually coming from another country. So they're coming from hours and hours, eight hours away, 10 hours away. And so little delays there and there can really add up because that almost two hour delay we had, that was for an EC. So if you have a choice, choose a train that starts in Italy because their delays will be shorter than some of the trains that start from outside of Italy. If you do get a physical ticket to go onto a train, look for a little like 
stampy thing. I don't know how else I call it, but you will actually insert your ticket in there to get it stamped to, to validate it, okay? Because you don't want to get on without a validated ticket. That can be problematic. If you buy your tickets online, it's on your phone, so it's already taken care of. You don't have to worry about it, but don't forget to validate. You know, if you're going to use the Circumvesuvia train line from Naples to Pompeii, you've got to take your ticket, boop, boop, and stamp it in because if someone comes on the train and you don't have it validated, you could get a fine, okay? Now, no matter what train you take, whether it's the super cool Freccia trains or it's the regional trains or it's, or it's just like the local train going out to Cittadella from, you know, Vicenza, don't expect a lot of luggage space. I mean, you gotta pack light when you're traveling to Italy. I know you're thinking, but there's so much great fashion, I've gotta look good everywhere I go. Yeah, but you don't have space. I mean, literally, those big suitcases, you won't have anywhere to put them. Okay, you want to be carry-on size and make sure you can lift it up and put it over your head, okay? Now, if you're in first class or the business class, sometimes they have extra space for bigger luggage, but man, it, it can be a bit tight in the luggage space. And hey, I've seen this way too many times. If you've got too much luggage and someone offers to help you to bring your luggage onto the train, which someone will if you're in Rome or someplace like that, don't forget to watch your wallet and your stuff while they do that because some of them are helpful and some of them aren't. And I'm not talking about the official train Italia people. I'm talking about random people that are helping you to put your stuff on the train because this is where I've seen people get a pickpocket here, a bag lost there, something missing out of their bag. So you do want to be careful. That's why don't bring a lot of luggage when you're going to be taking the trains in Italy. Now, the next one I have for you is something that's going to help you when you're at the train station. And that is, don't forget these two words, arrivi e partenze. Arrivi are arrivals. So when you see the board up there, you want to see arrivi, oh, that's arrivals. And partenze, that's departures, okay? And if you see the schedules on the wall, like they'll have posters up, the arrivi, the arrivals will be in white and then the departures will be on a yellow piece of paper. And when you're trying to figure out the arrivals and departures and you're at the train station, another don't I have for you is don't ever, ever, ever not pay attention to your bags, your wallet, your stuff when you're at train stations here in Italy. Whether you're in Milan Centrale, you're here in Bari Centrale, or you're in one of the Venice stations, you do need to pay attention to your things just because when there's so much commotion, those are the kind of places that pickpockets work. And so it's easier to kind of swipe somebody's stuff when they're so, you know, like so overwhelmed with what's going on. So do always pay attention. Also, if you're gonna be taking local trains, when you're going on and off like the city trains, don't forget to pay attention because getting on and off the trains is also an easy way. Like on the Metro, that's a good place to pickpocket. You now, another little helpful hint I have for you is don't forget to hit the head before you head to the station because the toilets in the train stations aren't necessarily one, free, and two, super clean. So you might wanna go before you go, just so it's kind of out of the way. Now on most of the trains, you have the, tra the train toilets or train toilets. So when people are going to the bathroom on the train, aiming is difficult, let's say. So that's why I always recommend to go before you go. I know it sounds silly, but honestly, it makes a difference. Now, another thing I wanna tell you is don't forget to grab some food before you get on the train, because there are on the fetches and the fast trains a lot of times there are restaurant cars you can go on, but I find that the food choices are limited and it's a little more pricey. It's not bad, but it's not a super cheap thing. But what's cool is a lot of the train stations around Italy, there's actually a supermarket or a smaller kiosk or market that's right there in the station. So you can go get a snack. You can go get some meats and cheese. You get some drinks there, some snacks there to take with you to save yourself some money. Because if you're on that train from Venice to Naples, that's like six hours long. And so you're gonna need a little bit of snack time when you're there. Oh, that helps remember one thing. Don't be afraid to book first class tickets because if you're booking early, those first class tickets booked early are actually usually cheaper than getting second class tickets or economy tickets the day you're gonna depart. So why not have a bit more room and a plug for your phone and, and free internet and sometimes they bring you drinks when you go through there. Why not check that out? Now it doesn't always work, but it's worth looking into. And you notice I'm sweating kind of bit, and that's one thing I wanna tell you is, don't be surprised if the trains get a little hot when you're traveling around Italy in the summer. Now the Frecci's will have the AC, but those regional trains, the Circum Vesuvia going to Pompeii from Naples, ooh, it can get a little hot, so make sure you're staying hydrated, make sure you have something, you know, get the windows open because it can be a little uncomfortable. I remember we were going from Bologna to Ravenna, both great places, by the way, and we were on the local train and it was so hot. Liam was a baby at the time, or about one, and we were all so hot, you could literally see 
Boop, 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 the veins because we were all so hot in there. So do be safe with that. Now, another thing I got to mention to you is since there's so many tourists that come here in the summer and sometimes trains have issues, sometimes they actually switch the trains around. So if you're in a Freccia, don't be surprised if there might be a flub and there might be two people booked in the same seat as you because really, don't worry, they'll figure it out because you don't want to get all with the conductors because I'll be honest, the train conductors here in Italy, like that they go around, they are super helpful and super friendly. I mean, honestly, probably most friendly and helpful I've gone on, been and had in Europe. So just let them help out and figure out the situation if there's a little flub, okay? And if you're getting a little frustrated on the train or you're getting a little hot, don't forget to look out the window because when you go through Italy, you'll see beautiful fields, but also you'll pass by historic cities and towns. You might be like, hey, was that a palace that we just went by? Was that an incredible church we just went by? Is that the Dolomites? Yes, you will see beautiful views out those windows. So don't forget to put down your phone and look out and take in the views on your train Italia trains. Don't get freaked out when you're doing the local trains and everybody goes gang crazy to get on the train as soon as possible since so it's hard to get off. Just know that's the way it is. Now, another important thing you need to realize is don't think every main train station in Italy is Centrale. Now, Milano Centrale, so Milan Central Station, Bari Centrale, yeah, those do have that. But if you're gonna be going to Florence, no. Florence is Firenze Santa Maria Novella. That's the main station you go to, okay? If you're gonna to go to Venice, you'll hear Venezia Mestre, and you'll hear Venezia Santa Lucia. So if you wanna to go to actually Venice on the island, the one you want is Venezia Santa Lucia. That's the one that's actually on the island. Venezia Mestre is in Mestre, that's on the mainland. So there's a very big difference. So if you're gonna go in, make sure you go all the way into Santa Lucia if you're going to Venice, okay? Um, if you're gonna to go to Verona, Verona Verona is Verona Porta Nuova, so you have different names for it, so make sure you're paying attention because some cities actually have multiple stops on the train and you want to make sure you get off on the right one, okay? Like Roma is Roma Termini, the terminal station, so I think you'll be able to figure that one out, but I just want you to know that not all of them are central stations, just to make sure you're okay. Now, you know I mentioned those delays before, and I think it's important that I mention this. Don't think if you have a tight connection, you're always gonna make it, especially if you're going regional train to regional train or local train to something else, because those delays add up. And if you have a 10 minute connection, you might not make it. So that's what we do. If we know that we have, for example, we're gonna go from Pugnare a Mare to here in Bari, then Bari to Rome. Now there's a train from Pugnare a Mare to Bari that gets in like 10 minutes before our Freccia train going. I'm not willing to take that chance. We'll actually take the train earlier to get into here and then have a little bit longer layover at the Bari Centrale station to make sure I get that freccia because, you know, those connections sometimes don't always make it. Now, another thing that's really helpful is if you download the app, the Train Italia app, because you can buy your tickets on there, keep everything on there, and when they ask for your tickets, you just open up the app and they scan it. I mean, you can also just download the PDFs and they'll scan that too, but the app is really helpful, especially if you're looking for train times, like when could I go someplace? It's super simple to use, but also, I'll be honest with you, the Train Italia website is super simple too, so don't be afraid to use that. But I gotta tell you this, don't think you can get all of the trains from the app and all of the trains on the website because some of the private train lines, like the Italo train lines, you might need to go to their website to find their tickets because sometimes not every actual train goes through because we were in Caserta, north of Naples, and an Italo train to Bari went by and I'm like, huh, why didn't that one show up when I was searching? Oh, because we're on the Train Italia Freccia one, okay? So be aware of that. Now, if you're going to get reservations, don't forget to look and see where your reservation is because it'll have Carrozza, which is the car you're in, and then it'll have your seat number, okay? So make sure you get in the right one. And on the outside of the doors, as the trains go by, it'll say, oh, this is car one, this is car two, or this is car 259, 260. And so then you can get in the right train because a lot of people just hop on like, oh, I'm seat 7B. They're like, no, you're 7B in car three this is car one. Oh right so just to avoid some of that confusion just don't forget to look on your actual car okay not just the seat number now i know i'm talking about train travel but i think it's also important we talk about train travel sometimes you can use train stations as kind of a base of operations if you want to see a city for a day but you don't want to spend the night so don't forget about the left luggage option at a lot of the bigger train stations in italy where you literally just pay a few euros and they'll keep your bag for you so if you don't want to deal with the tourist hordes in florence which who can make you sweaty mad like i am now 
Well, you can go to the left luggage, leave your bag there, spend the day going around Florence and taking it all in, and then head back to the train station, get your bags and head to Luca to spend the night or go down to Rome or head up north. And then you don't have to worry about it because those deposit de bagali is really kind of a helpful thing, okay? Because it'll let you visit a city without paying for a hotel. But also don't think that that's just at the train station. There's actually a whole network of places that will let you leave your luggage so you can look that up, okay? And then I think another thing that's really important is if you want to visit the north and the south of Italy, don't think that train is your only option. There's actually a lot of cheap flights. If you want to fly from Venice down to here in Bari, or if you want to go from, you know, Milan to Sicily, I don't know if you really want to do that long, 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 long all day train ride. You could just fly down there as well, okay? So you've got lots of options there for you. Don't worry about it. You have a great time on the trains in Italy. Yes, a couple times it might be a little hot, a little sweaty, a little frustrating, a little delayed, but it's always gonna be worth it. So I hope this helps you know what to do and not do when you do take the train here in Italy, cause you're gonna to have to as a tourist because it's the way you see this beautiful country. So if you have other don'ts for taking the train in Italy, put it in the comment section below so we can help other travelers come in here to Italy to enjoy their time. And I'll wish you all the best. I'll say ciao from here in Bari.